This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, everyone, Valdemar here with more Murdered Soul Suspect. We are Ronin, and we were heading towards the police department, but I decided to make a quick detour. I found my way back to the apartments over here, and while I was messing around, kind of running around checking what I could, could possibly grab when I did a new episode, I found that there's some new things that have occurred. One, these barrels, be gone! You are not important to me! And you can get stuff. Hey, all right. Well, I didn't know what was be back here. I just know I could actually remove the barrel, so. See Nelson family photo. We were nervous about the amount of candles and oil lamps Claire had in the house. She loved the dim, uh, dim light, especially in her st st stances. I don't know. I can't. T it's hard to read it from where I'm sitting. She didn't take them seriously. She just wanted to talk to the dead celebrities. So she seance. It's a seance. Gotcha. Anyway, by destroying that, there's a couple of things. I assume there's some things around here, but... I don't know if I'm supposed to come to these later, but... You know. There's gotta be some other uh, things to explore around here. Come on out. Woohoo. Hey, it's a cat. Awesome. Oh, that's right. This is the, uh... Is this the, uh... Yeah, okay. I just went around, basically. Wait a minute. So I didn't have to destroy the, uh... Didn't have to destroy the barrels if I didn't want to. I could have just gone around. Because there's another way to get here in the first place. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the stuff we can see. Get it out of the way. Oh, another... Another... C. Nelson cause of death. Cause of death was burn shock. Kerosene from an old lamp covered front, front of the clothing, hands, and face. Likely a large spill, then ignite. Ugh. Yeah, you can also remove this door. I remove your door and substitute my own. Same thing. Hello? There's a lot of, like, quick... quick go-arounds around here, huh? Anyway, we grabbed that. Let's, uh, grab... I haven't seen any notes for... hidden things. Oh, another review of my life. All those street brawls. <laughs> it's amazing I lived as long as I did. Beat down. All right, let's uh, gather some clues around here. This is where you met the girl, uh, the basically the Wednesday Adams character at the very beginning of the game. Julian's thoughts: Family is what you're, you're given, and also what you make it. Had ha, had such a lovely dinner with Rex and Ronan, the two men in my life. Who? Uh, what are the chances that these two guys are going to be the best of friends, like brothers? They can really be themselves around each other, and I get to see a different side of each of them. I am so grateful. Weird, huh? The 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 guy the guy got it. He got me, man. He got me. He got me. He got me dead to rights. I just see if there's any random uh, other things. I I see the obvious stuff, but. Grace, a Grace, a Grace caused death. Victim died of massive blunt trauma with a bookshelf in her shop collapsed on top of her. And I still think burning to death is a lot worse, but what do I know, right? Okay, I know. I know there's one other place I can check before I leave. I can, I can check to see what that cat could do. You know that one section where I could have uh, possessed a cat and run up like a wall or something like that. Um, oh yeah, I almost forgot about this one. Oops. Nope. Wrong button. No. Okay. There we go. A Grace publicity photo. Publicity photo of victim. A minor tribute was held a few days later by our customers and friends. Man, all these people get killed. They say it's not a serial killer. Well, then again, I guess deaths happen all the time, especially in uh, in America, uh, among many other places, of course. But all these destructible doors that have no point to them. Okay, there's no, like, random things. Let's look on the ground. Maybe there'll be a reason later on. Like, uh, like when the plot actually indicates me to be able to destroy stuff. I just noticed that because I was just walking around and it actually asked me to, like, mess with it. And I was like, okay, it's asking me to mess with it. That's a little weird. Um, I think I got everything around here. I know there's some stuff. Ah! Frame rate! Frame rate! It's not my fault! 
Well, the game can't handle such such uh, graphics of this magnitude. Okay. I'm trying to think. I don't need to go that way yet. There's some stuff over there, but I'll get it when the game indicates it to me too. Um, okay, there was a... Okay, there's no... Ah, here we go. I want to possess you, kitty. Let's see where this game, where this game can, uh, if there's anything here I can grab or go to. Okay, here we go. I'm seeing what I can grab here, if, if, unless I'm doing this out of order, but. We shall see. Aha! More gas cans! Now apparently you can reveal stuff as a, as a kitty. Yes, yes, we got kitties! More kitties! Alright, let's see what's over here. Uh, 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 oh, glitchy! Ah, 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 oh god! I personally think it's this version of the game. I don't even think it's the game. It, like, if I was playing like a different version of the game, it'd probably... Like, maybe a, a, a next-gen version or something. But... Alright. Not that these were needed to be grabbed. Can I just fall? Kill the cat? Blech. The cat just dies. Alright. So, now with that out of the way, I'm going to head back to the, um... That car. You know, when I was trying to solve that one mystery with, uh... All the people, you know, the, the drunken dude. I'll meet you back when I get back to that spot. Alright, see you then. Alright, we find ourselves back to the gas station, and I finally located the final clues. Man, it tells you how either I'm not very observant, or just, you just have to have the game at a specific angle to get it. But here we go. We got some, uh, tail, tail light fragments right here. Let's see what that tells us. Busted tail light. I wonder if this has anything to do with Brad's accident. Hmm, who knows? And a dented trash can. Interesting. A severely dented trash can. Someone's either a bad driver or in a hurry, or maybe drunk. Hmm. Okay, we got all the clues. Let's see if we can put them together. Uh, is there a witness who saw who's driving? Uh, had to have been Brad, right? Brad making a call. Oh, no? Really? No, I have all the... Wipe of the night, the... Hmm. More pumping gas and Rick Puget? Oh, I guess it was obvious. I'm an idiot. The hell was it? There was bang. I could have just figured out what they heard. Okay, so that's the. Okay, so something happened to where they, something occurred. So we need to figure out what the bang is. But let's go ahead and do a little exploring around here. I've stopped deciding to possess regular people because, well, frankly, uh, they don't say much. So I'll leave it as that. A dedication plaque. The fountain is dedicated in the hope that this quiet town of Salem will be known for peace and reverie. Aww. How lovely. Now really it's all come down to uh, if I see any glowing stuff. If it's glowing, I... Ooh. That must have been what happened. Uh, an explosion of some sort. Or, sorry, a crash. Now, is there any way to get through that? I don't see any teleport pods or anything. They're not pods, what am I talking about? Teleporting like spots. And I can't, for whatever reason, just climb through crap. Because it looks like there's something over there. Hmm. I don't think I can pez that. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, apparently it says there might be a, a. I think it might be on the other side. Yeah, it probably is. Okay, so I can't do anything about that. But there might be like a the that lady that girl's drawings around here somewhere. Is there an animal I could possess, maybe? Nope. <laughs> That's that in way. another department. I cannot go that way. The plot will indicate I go that way at some point. Let's see what's in here. Should be should be something in here. 
Oh. Hello. Are we the prodder or are we the puppet? Is there anything on the ground? Don't see anything. At least collectibles glow when you can get them. So at least there's that. So a loud banging occurred of some sort. Oh, here we go. Influence. Uh, where's some car crash? Can we ask him about the bank? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wish I didn't slam the door so hard. Stupid window was coming out of my paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So... Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. The female driver. Female drivers, am I right, guys? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've seen just as many bad female and male drivers. Doesn't matter. If you're an idiot, you're an idiot. Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> So I need to... Can I go... Uh, I think I just need to go back and tell Brad. Although, I'm still surprised I can't get back here because there's a secret back here. Maybe I'll be able to possess something later and get to that. I'll ignore it for now. Let me go... Uh, now I just have to remember... Nope. That's not the way to go. Back this way. Haha. Haha. -ha. Ha -ha. Okay. And then I'll go on with the actual plot today. Woo! Plot! Who knew we were going to hit that at some point? Ah, oh, there you are, Brad. Hey, you didn't do it! You shouldn't have let her drive as being drunk, but hey, you didn't do it! Ring any bells? Wait. Um, I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God, I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Thank you. Yep. Goodbye, buddy, wherever your soul takes you. Goodbye. Hmm, Carnage. Ugh. That's a terrible game. I'm just talking about the puns. Alright, anyway, now that we've sent another man to, uh. Uh. Heaven? Maybe? I don't know. Some afterlife. Can you be reincarnation for all we know? Well, I. Mm, that's not completely true because you see, you do see the guy's wife. If she was already reincarnated, she wouldn't even be there when he was going to the bridge. Julian's thoughts. Escor ex escorted by a knight. And for once, I left the safe out at night. Oh, I'm sorry. I felt safe at night. All the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man. Oh, all the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem, they felt true. No one would touch us because no one would touch him. I was with them and with him with me. Uh, with him. I'll be with him. I, I don't, sorry, I screwed that one up big time, didn't I? Alright, I guess we should finally do But I want to do exploring. Now there'll be more to do after Where's the cop actually think? When were those trials? 1800s. What, are you talking about the witch trials? Look up all this history stuff. Why are you mentioning that all of a sudden? That doesn't make sense. You're making no sense! Strange coming back here now, like this. A place I used as a crutch to get through the tough times when I found myself suddenly alone again. Funny how history repeats itself. Not tonight. And I was the first time he used a gun. This guy relies on close proximity. 
So remember, if you approach him, it gives him power. But, sir, if we can't approach him, how do we arrest him? Remember your training. He's a wanted cop killer now. You can shoot him on sight. Bell Killer War. Should see if there's any news that uh, leads to my murder case. Alright. Guess we should start. Start looking for all the raging clues over here. Cops, oh, you my good stick man. Together. Yeah, man. Department. Like a club, dude. Alright, we're all blood brothers. Man, cut your wrists with ra rusty beer cans and smush them together. That didn't cause polio or, or tetanus or whatever else could happen with blood. Oh, that's why he's supposed to be Caucasian blue. Oh, I see the mask and hood. Please save the bell killer's blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I confronted him. I guess it's as good as mine. Hello? How oh dare watch recent developments. Joy and Cassandra Foster missing poster. I'm probably trying to look for her too, so you think. Because she was in the case, but uh, not maximum priority. What's this one? Ah, the victims. So we have three victims other than... Is that true or...? Huh. Victims of where were young women with no signs of sexual assault. So he just killed them. Almost like someone's like... Like, uh... The guy who killed, uh... Jack the Ripper, who was just... Who seemed to just have a... A, a hatred for women in general. That's why he killed them. I mean, even though they're all prostitutes, but... Murder locations. Bell killer murders have occurred all over town in random locations. There does appear to be a common link to when they happened. There's gotta be some. Oh. There's gotta be some connection. What's this? Bell symbol research. I'm trying to figure out if he's using some weird, you know, psych. like references or something. Because some killers, uh, some insane killers are just methodic in their. I can. Oh, Poltergeist a phone. Gotcha. I thought that said possess. I'm like, what? Why do I could possess a phone? Uh, the symbol of Bell Killer leaves. Bell Killer leaves at the murder scene. What does the Bell have to do with his murders? Interesting. And no one answers it. Great. Whoa. Okay. Let me see what our good. He's not even holding the phone to his head. Look at that. Look how far away it is. Oh. Look at that. Did you guys say any more? Can I? Eavesdrop now. All right, let's do it. No. No suspects at this point, sir. This boils down to sloppy leadership, Lieutenant. Whoever made the call for Ronan to go in alone, it's on you. We lose one of our own tonight, and you have no suspects and no leads? Look, Captain, he wore gloves and apparently didn't touch anything in the apartment other than the knob on the front door. He didn't leave prints, fibers, or anything else traceable. And if you think I don't want this guy to pay more than you, you are sadly mistaken. Watch your tone, Rex. Everyone knows he was your brother-in-law, so you don't need to remind us. You lose your cool again, and more of your own will join Ronan. You understand me? You find this guy, or a clue that leads to his doorstep. Now! That's an order. Yeah, understood. And he's trying his hardest, but can't, uh, they just can't get anything. Frustrated by the lack of evidence or progress. Well, I would, I would show frustration too if I could. Oh, this guy's got anything. Mind read! Yet, but he will. Oh, he's talking I about the killer, myself. I guess. This killer's flesh and blood like all of us. Yeah, <laughs> of course he's flesh and blood. Nothing more different than that. Uh, by right to the more, cause of death, pending autopsy, plenary forensics, no fibers, suspect blood, no prints left at the scene. Uh... Any leads to my case? Uh, maybe the no prints thing? Oh, I guess so, okay. Didn't find a lead. One of the best sightings of the 
killer and they didn't find anything, <laughs> basically. Okay then, that's weird. Ugh. Cause of death, uh, ligature strangulation. The trauma to the neck and larynx via grotting. Severe abrasions to the wrist and ankles, most likely the result of being bound by hemp rope, consistent with all their murders, ruling homicide. And it's not fun like Japanese rope bondage. Let me tell you, they've got a thing for that over there. He opened up the door. What a fool! Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, patterns of the victim. Okay. Okay, let's see what he's got. What would make him remember what he should be doing? Uh. I, I don't know. What do I know about this guy? Um, I don't have any other clues. Let's see if I leave the clues in. So it kind of be something to do with him. Well, the thing is, it's asking what he, what should he know, but I'm like, I haven't talked to him. I don't know what he what he thinks. <laughs> Uh, well, there's missing people on there. Maybe he needs to, maybe he's looking for a, uh, missing persons uh, flyer. There we go. Okay. We gotta find that info about the missing tenant. Uh, he just updated the file on the uh, list of information that's useful. Peek. Doo doo. Uh, Cassandra, residents of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium, a criminal profile, occasionally consultant in the Salem Police Department, last seen by neighbors two weeks ago, no criminal record, Jerry Foster 15, her legal guardian is her mother, Cassandra Foster, whereabouts of the father are unknown, dropped out of the Salem school system two years ago, ran away from home, has a number of misdemeanor convicts, juvenile trespassing, burglary, break and entering, uh, she's in, uh, Amber, for cancelled in custody. Yep. That's important. She's in jail right now. Well, not in jail. She's in custody. Uh, Amber Alert was canceled because of the witness in custody here at the station. She'd probably be in the holding cells. Conclude. I think I've learned all I can here. I better go find that witness. Alright, we need to go... F you know her name, don't you? Don't really have to call her witness, right? Huh. So we have to go to the holding cells. So Ronan has found out where the girl is, so we need to go to the holding cells and find her. What information can he get out of her? Can he convince her to help him on his journey for true enlightenment and salvation of his soul and tracing down the killer? Find out next time on Murdered Soul Suspect. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.